Hi guys, um, I'm back again and uh, we'll let's uh, go a little bit more further. So today we're going to do the Telsa row. All right, how to set up the Telsa row and then we do the gyro, gyro settings. A little bit uh, tricky in the gyro, but I got other helicopter probably I would like to show you guys too. So later on. Okay, so what is this? Have a look. This is your tail blade tail blade always remember it should be on the middle all right that's why I lose this one my my sort of lose so I can move around and find exactly this where it is supposed to be the center so what I did it I leave a loose before this one watch if you can see here in my hand if I pull slowly, have a look. This is very close to the end. It's not nice. And then that's why I leave this as loose. And um, so I can do this one. So what I did it, do you know what is the first thing you do? Is start your transmitter. And then you put your <coughs> tail servo into where is my tail servo lead because I let, we were working only three servos so it's supposed to go into the rotor all right rotor so you put the tail servo in the rotor I'll tie up my things later on guys so why because I don't know what I'm up to but yeah put this on and then then you need to power up through the old battery so I'll just power up why I'm doing it make sure the servo is in the 90 degree so and then you can work nicely so see I powered this up this one is not 90 degrees so have a look this one is a little bit horizontal so from here on from the back it should be not horizontal I mean see the bending here and binding so it's not good for the servos so what do you do you put first I will okay you just a little bit up so okay let me to do first a little bit it's not 90 degrees so I can do this one have a look in my transmitter go to the sub trim I'll go to the sub trim I pick up my rotor okay when I pick up my rotor, just go and do it. Here we go. I think that will do for me. It's look 90. So, so leave. Still leave your transmitter on. Just a minute. So don't worry. Okay, now a little bit more, I think. But okay, you can see here on this side what I do. Leave on the 90. I just slide it. Have a look. When I slide on the front, oops, come on. Oh, okay, guys. When I slide on the front, um. Is, have a look so it's not it's not giving me any more uh, place to bring this one in the back so what do we do now the very simple I can turn around so you can see a little bit get the wire out what do we do we just take out these things I like to use my hand because all the time is giving me really headaches. Yep. Yeah. I just use my hand and what do you do? You just take these things, have a look here, tie it up. Make a sorter. Make 
make as much solder you can do it because servo need uh, we need to move around so keep tightening up because I'm need to tie it a little bit I need to go more and also I bought some tool like that you can use it for hand free so see watch this this goes here a little bit it will go inside and now a little bit more easier to do it's the job so because you just a little bit sometimes you feel pain in your hand oops so you can put this one in come on inside and just keep tightening up unless you feel tight enough okay okay I'll just stop now guys and see how it look like um, hopefully you can see what I'm doing so when you tie it up make sure always remember there is a two types so you can just put this one inside now a little bit go this way more this way hang on A little bit more to go away. Okay. How it look like? Let's try to show you guys everything. That's the problem, eh? Okay. So if you put this one inside, here we go. See that. Leave your services. This lineup is very important, guys. So I think that will be here very amazingly have a look so you line up straight up so leave the server here and now the question is again see here in my hand try to do it in the middle so again you push have a look here a little bit more back i think it's kind of middle uh, hang on yep so if you find put this one in the middle use your rotor and see you happy with or not see i'm happy with that place there's a little bit binding but we will this i believe this enough very close in the middle okay yeah so that situation what you do you type your servo get your star star one which one you can use and now you need to tight it so you can type your just tighten up this don't tie too much guys because I have a bad feeling about the quality because it's just we miss and we can't go further just tight enough to server doesn't move and line up see I did it so and then what do you do see just a little bit this was not up it's very simple what you do just take it out this monkey again because you tight enough and it will come out when you come out you just open this way and put back have a look now watch you can see nice and straight always remember it has to be nice and straight otherwise you don't get the performance so now your servo done you did your servo tail servo this and this and and see this one here I'll show you you can see probably not see but the same amount of here same amount of on the back but if you later on it's called limit you can fix this problem with your uh, gyro and um, that's the close enough for us at the moment and you can check with your see I'm just using my a little bit binding not much so shouldn't be any problem we got a lot of throw on it so yeah it's work fine and you can see now on the back 
this way you need to put your tail servo so this is the tail servo guys and uh, very quick, quick we're going to do it because there's the tail servo now next part will be uh, <coughs> how to put uh, a gyro on it so keep watching thank you for the watching